Hello everyone, Rogue Fox here, and welcome back to another Minecraft Redstone video. Today's video is going to be a bit different, and that's because a few days ago, Azumavoid offered a Redstone challenge to see who could come up with an XP furnace farm design that fit within a two wide area. So as someone who loves working on Redstone, I took up that challenge, and this is what I came up with. As a Bedrock Redstone player and creator, my first challenge was coming up with a design that would possibly work on Java. So, for the most part, I do believe everything should work on Java Edition. I personally don't have it, so I don't know for sure. The only question I had was if on Java Edition, you can pass a Redstone signal through a barrel. So, right here, I have a button that will pass the signal through to this repeater. And also down below, I do have Redstone passing through a barrel down here. So if this is not a feature on Java Edition, then unfortunately, I don't think it's going to work. But as far as the rest of the Redstone goes, everything else should work on Java Edition. Nothing else I did was exclusive to Bedrock. And of course, over here for the Bedrock players, I did add some Bedrock exclusive features here. But let's go ahead and take a look at this design first. Starting with the blue circuit, one of the things Azuma asked for was for the items to be disposed of after they have been cooked or smelted in the furnace above. So for the challenge he issued, he asked us to use cactus, which would turn into green dye. So the green dye would make its way down, and then let's go ahead and throw an item in here. So let's say a stone button. That got disposed of into the lava below. So you can imagine as green dye makes its way down this hopper line, it will be properly disposed of into the lava. Next, what we have here is this green circuit, and this green circuit is simply an indicator lamp to let the player know if XP is ready to be collected or not. If we take a look inside the furnace, we do have green dye that is ready to be pulled, and that will give us all of the XP for everything that has passed through. Now, after we reset this, the redstone lamp will turn off, and the furnace will turn back on, and this will let the player know that this is not ready to be collected from just yet. What we have next is this magenta circuit and also the orange circuit down below. Now, another challenge that Azuma had was making a counting system to determine how many items were going to go down into the system below, but also, once again, keeping it within a two-wide area. So, going with the one-wide theme, I tried to think of a system that would give us a decent amount of items, so I came up with this simple circuit here. What we have, once we press the button here on the barrel, that is going to give us a redstone signal. That is going to extend this piston, and the redstone block is going to activate the dispenser, spitting out an item onto the pressure plate. And what we're going to do is let that item sit there and despawn after 5 minutes. But in the meantime, this redstone torch is going to be off, allowing items to leave the chest. So after testing this, this gives us 11 stacks and roughly 46 items. Now I say roughly because there is a couple times where I've seen slightly more or slightly less. So again, that's going to be 11 stacks and roughly 46 that will go down into the furnace to be smelted. After the 11 stacks and 46 have been released, everything is going to start cooking or smelting in the furnace below. And with that, that leads us to our XP storage. Now what we have here is a comparator running out from the top hopper. So you can imagine we have a stack cooking. We are going to collect cactus or whatever it is we're cooking or smelting in the hopper here and then also in the hopper above. Now when we have items in this hopper this is going to activate this comparator and extend this redstone block down and this is going to unlock the hopper here so as items cook they can go down and go into the disposal system down below. Now right now this is locked after the last stack makes its way into the furnace to be cooked which would be this one here. This is going to turn off, this is going to retract the redstone block, activating this repeater, which is going to lock this hopper, and keep our items in the furnace, or smoker, or blast furnace, to be collected for the XP. Now that all the circuits are explained, I do want to show how we get fuel into the system before we collect the XP. So that is very simple, this would be the hopper line running across the furnaces, and this would be collected by these hoppers here, come along this way, go down, and then deposit the fuel into the furnace from the side. So you can see both of these here. So this will get a bit expensive hopper wise. Now overall, I know both designs are very big and very bulky, 
But then again, I was trying to keep everything within a two wide area and have all the features that I wanted to have. And with that, I was able, as you see here, to come up with a one wide design. The only exception being for this design where we actually had to have the hoppers going into the side, making this a two wide. But overall, all of the redstone circuits do fit within a one wide area. And then across the top here is where all of the cactus would come across and then deposit into the chest down below. And the same would go for here. Now that everything is explained for this, let's go ahead and collect that XP. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pull this stack of green dye from the furnace. Now again, 11 stacks and 46 have passed through. So we are gonna get that much in XP. And looking down at my levels, I currently don't have any. So let's go ahead and see what we get for that. Nine levels, that is not too bad. You can imagine if we have a whole array of these, we do get nine levels starting from zero. Now let's go ahead and try to man a pickaxe. Next, we're gonna go ahead and man this enchanted diamond pickaxe with efficiency five and mending. Again, 11 stacks and 46 have passed through this of cactus. So if we pull it out, that gives us a decent amount of XP and mending for this pickaxe. So it almost restored about a quarter. Again, if you do have multiple arrays, you can keep pulling and get more XP that way. But it does give us a decent amount of XP to mend the pickaxe. Now that all of the XP has been collected, to reset this, all we're gonna do is press the button here. And again, this is gonna pass the redstone signal through, activate this piston, power the dispenser, and spit an item out onto the pressure plate. So let's go ahead, we're gonna press it. And is this gonna be broken now too? Let's go ahead and remove a barrel. This was meant to be a showcase, but I guess I am also showcasing redstone being broken for bedrock addition. So let's go ahead and put a barrel back. Maybe if we refresh everything. Oh, look at that. Very, very interesting. So yeah, hopefully this is an issue that they fix. So as you see, this does dispense an item onto the pressure plate, and this is gonna unlock this hopper, allowing items to go down and go into the furnace. This gets extended, allowing the items to pass through to go down to the disposal, powering this piston, and what this would do would shut off the redstone lamp here. And if we take a look, we have our items here. And again, this is gonna power the comparator, making everything work. So that is the XP furnace farm that I came up for Azuma's challenge. And like I said, this should work on Java edition. Nothing is exclusive to Bedrock as far as I know. Like I said, the only exception would probably be the barrel if Java players are not able to do that. But for my Bedrock edition players, this is the model that I came up with. And as you can see here, this is actually a one wide design. And that is because we can actually place redstone in the water. So that is very helpful. That way I don't have to run a hopper line going down and off to the side to get fuel into the furnace. I can actually run it straight into the back of the smoker here. And that's what I'm using or the furnace or the blast furnace that goes directly in. So the fuel would go here and then collect. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves some kelp blocks to demonstrate how this works. We can just go ahead and chuck these into the water stream. And that is going to go right down into the hopper, right under the comparator. And again, because this is bedrock, we can place redstone in the water and not have it get washed up. So that is a very useful feature and allowed me to make a one wide design. Now, as far as this goes down below, you can see this is wired up slightly different. We could keep the same design that we have here, but I just wanted to use some bedrock exclusive features like this with the redstone passing through the pistons and activating the lamps. So that is all that is different, but everything else, this whole circuit up top, the orange circuit, this is all the same. Everything else is the same. And then of course, because we are using a smoker, I am choosing to run this into a composter instead of lava. But with that, let's go ahead and collect some XP. For this demonstration, I chose to go with a smoker and I went ahead and used potatoes. So this is good because Baked potatoes give off a little more XP than cactus. Now, the cool thing about this is that we can wire this up to a villager-powered potato farm or an automatic kelp farm, so that can fill in. 
and of course a smoker will cook things twice as fast than a furnace so where this took roughly an hour the furnace cooking the cactus over there took twice as long so if you are stressed for time and you don't want to be afking for a very long time a smoker is a good way to go so let's go ahead we're going to pull out some xp and like i mentioned it is going to give us a little bit more xp than the green die over there we got nine levels and if we pull this we got ourselves 13 levels now again we do have another one so what we're going to do is grab our pickaxe and mend that one to see how much that fixes up the pickaxe once again we have ourselves a diamond enchanted pickaxe that is almost broken and this one has silk touch efficiency 5 and mending so let's go ahead and pull the xp from this and this one actually brought the durability into the yellow whereas the other one it barely filled up a quarter and it got slightly orange but this one actually got us into the yellow again that is because baked potatoes do give us a bit more xp than the green dye would and to reset this this is going to work the exact same way and i went ahead and reset these barrels already so they should work again we press the button that activates that item comes out falls onto the pressure plate stays there for five minutes until it despawns and that releases items from the chest down into the smoker and like i said the difference for this one is that everything is making its way down into the composter for azuma's challenge he did want this to be for cactus and bamboo because we can make automatic farms but in my personal opinion at least with the current setup that i have here we do get more xp cooking baked potatoes and again the smoker does cook everything twice as fast so if you do have this hooked up to an automatic kelp farm or you have some sort of villager potato farm i feel like this would be the better option to have for those reasons and there you have everyone that is what i came up with for azuma voids redstone challenge for the xp furnace farm again this one should work on java edition as well as bedrock and then for the bedrock players this is the model that i came up with so thank you for watching this is the end of today's redstone video i really hope you guys enjoyed this has been rogue fox and i will see you later